Hello everyone. Let me close the door. Sebastian's asleep. It is 9 19. <sighs> it was a busy day. <laughs> it was a busy work day. I knew it was gonna be work day, but mm, that brewery came through with the emails and the projects. I am still not done with everything. I don't think I think I've got sent drafts for everything yeah good I, I think I did so it'll just be rounds of edits and final versions anyway started off the day normal got Sebastian off to school I did have to pack his lunch and I'll have to pack tomorrow but it was all good and sent him off with a note saying he needed to go to lost and found to get his hoodie that he left at recess he was sent ahead of everybody else at lunchtime to go find his hoodie with one other classmate that had something that was lost and he found his hoodie, yeah. So that was good. But then I went and got, went to Jax's room. He was already up, second day in a row. He woke up early. I think it's because of his cold and it was, it was rough. He said his throat was really hurting from his coughing and he had no voice, like he had a little voice. But I went ahead and started his breakfast and he came down dressed and he was just, I felt for him. The coughing and the sore throat, I'm like, do you wanna stay home? It's okay. You just need to email your teachers first thing and see what you can do from home. Because I mean, it's a cold. It's not like he has to get back into bed, take medicine, have a fever and stuff. It's just his cough is disruptive, his throat is sore, he needs to be home where he could have tea with honey and cough drops. They're not allowed to have cough drops at school. <clears throat> you can get suspended if you even have one in your pocket. So, so I was like, I'll, I'll just put it in that you're sick, because you are, and email your teachers. So he, I had already toasted his bagel, so he had that for breakfast. And I just started it on work. He emailed all his teachers. His first class is Spanish, and like minutes after he wrote to them, wrote to his professor he wrote back telling him what he could get done so he did that right away i quizzed him on one thing it doesn't work outside of the classroom like there's a little spinner and you're supposed to like <clears throat> say the answer so i was just randomly reading them off to him and he went upstairs for the rest of the day i was just working and working but he did hang out with me for a little while so his computer died <clears throat> I was working on a new page for the dog daycare and it links to eight other new pages. Nine? No, eight. So I need to keep going on that, but I was really happy with how the landing page came out. And at 11, I finished that and I checked it on Jax and he was working on a algebra quiz. So he was able to at least log in and do that. <clears throat> In the effort to go get him Starbucks. I let him choose smoothies or Starbucks and he chose Starbucks. He really wanted a chai. And so I headed out. He got a chai and his favorite sandwich. And I got myself a hot chai. He likes cold chais. <clears throat> and a pumpkin loaf and came home and I ate that as my lunch while I started on finished death metal. <laughs> the brewery, the brewery's very metal. And one of my projects today is a collab beer label with a band. They do a lot of those with other bands, other breweries, and often they will provide artwork, maybe an album cover or something. And I have to do all the text and titles and fonts and stuff, make the, make edits to the picture to make it fit a label size and stuff. But I didn't recognize the band name. I mean, there's a lot of death metal bands. <laughs> but the person's first name who signed it, I was like, that looks like a Finnish name. So when I sent back my questions about starting a project, I was like, are they Finnish, by the way? I'm only an eighth Finnish. My dad, my grandpa was half Finnish. So my dad a quarter and me an eighth. I'm like, but my maiden name was Inanen. <laughs> 
he, the owner of the brewery is like, whoa, I, I never knew that about you. I mean, you wouldn't because I changed my name. I loved my last name, Inanin. So unique and fun, but I, I really like the idea of our whole family having the same last name, so I took my husband since that's just how it goes. And it's certainly easier to pronounce, though I get Seagal a lot, and I don't bother to change that, anybody. I don't correct it. Like, his teacher even said Miss Seagal. <laughs> I'm like, it's fine. I mean, that's a totally valid way of pronouncing the last name, I think. I don't think the double L's change the pronunciation, but I don't feel a lot of ownership over that name, I guess. I know I still had my maiden name longer than my married name at this point, but it's getting close. It's getting close. <laughs> so, yeah, I just don't feel a lot of ownership over it, so I don't care if people pronounce it. If they ask me, I would say, like the bird, seagull. <laughs> But yeah, so I got to do a finished death metal beer label. I also had another one which was a collab with, I think just a brewery, but in my, uh, yeah, I think it was just a brewery. I don't know, half the time, but they had artwork and I put stuff on it. <laughs> the, the finished one, I had to do a lot more editing to get it. Fit. And then a standard edit on uh, like a rerun of a beer we'd already done. So I think that was all he sent. We just had a lot of rounds of edits, a lot of different emails sent to me because of the collab people where you have to go back and forth a lot. So I guess it felt like way more and I put in a lot of hours today for me. So that is good. That is good. <sighs> and then it was bus time, got Sebastian, and he had a perfect star chart today. He got all of his stars, and I'm so proud of him. We had to do homework. We had to do his 30 minutes of computer math. I was actually still working on a label at that time, so I sat beside him working. And then he got to go out and play. <clears throat> And when I finished my work, I went upstairs and I started braiding. <laughs> so it looks like I got rid of all the purple, but no, I still have, I think, 12 more, which hopefully I can do in the morning after I get Jax to school because this I, this is not a look and I have to be at the elementary school at 10.30. <laughs> I don't mind at all the orange and the pink because this I'm mixing together like whatever I could find and one of the colors fades to a peach color at the bottom so the transition will be fine once I have the purple out. Basically here's what I found. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough of this but I'm actually putting together a massive order from my hair girl. I just have to get to $75 which is a lot of bags of hair at five to six dollars each, six for multicolor, five for plain, in order to get the free shipping. But shipping is $15, which is three bags of hair. So it's worth it for me to plan out all the colors I could possibly want in the next like up to half a year. So I'm gonna hopefully get that order in with one more bag of this, because I only had one bag just to test it out. And it's so pretty, but I'm just using half every braid has is half that and then this they don't even sell this anymore it's so old you can see the difference in the texture between these two see how this one is frizzy and i've even flat ironed that a little bit and this if you could feel it it's so silky smooth this was called shapeshifter hair and it was the first of its kind to be able to be curled and flat ironed and stuff and it's like made for loose extensions but it was very expensive i had to pay 15 dollars a bag when i used it but there wasn't anything else out there until this kind of hybrid came out so i just pulled together every pink i had and put it together in one big thing so i'm just mixing there's no more of that when it's gone they just have been selling their old stock for years and there's no good colors left <laughs> so <clears throat> 
I could get any old pinks probably. I'll probably shove some pinks onto my order just because they're good to have on hand. I do pink a lot and I'm sure I could match this, but that one gradient, I'm not gonna have, so. I did that until dinner got here, which I think was around seven. <laughs> so basically, Dan went out for his walk and came back and I, was, I messaged him like, I'm braiding, I don't know what you want for dinner. I wish we could just make something up here because I just wanna braid as long as I can. And he actually said that because he has off for Veterans Day tomorrow, kids do not. <clears throat> Yvonne is coming out and they're gonna go on an early morning walk with a friend who's actually trying to walk, I don't know what, like the whole CNO canal trail or something even larger, I don't know, but she's doing it in chunks and she'll do like five to 10 miles in a chunk. And then the next time I move on to the next part. And Dan's been hopping in for some, bringing Sebastian and stuff. But I think him and Yvonne are doing that. So Yvonne rode his bike all the way out here from where he lives. And they're gonna go, I think, after bus stop time. So we ordered Chinese food at Sebastian's request and they went and picked it up. So I braided up until then, then I cleaned up, cleaned up the table right as they arrived. And after that, it was 7.30 and I had to scramble because I had that, I don't know if I mentioned it, the middle school like PTA called out for volunteers to join a smile squad. I thought that was just like the teacher appreciation kind of thing, but I guess it's a separate thing they always do. And I've not really heard about it once much, but I think once I heard about it when they thanked a smoothie shop for providing smoothies for all the teachers. And at the time I was like, oh, I would have liked to hand out surveys to the teachers, but I didn't, they had never posted about it. But I guess it's this Smile Squad thing, which I just <laughs> volunteered for, I guess. But somebody likes meetings, so there was a Google meeting set for eight to nine. I did email her saying I could only do till 8.30. She didn't mention anything when I signed, up, signed in. But basically, Sebastian normally gets to bed to get started on bedtime at 7.45. I said he could stay till eight because Yvonne was here, but I had everything laid out for him. So all his vitamins and his, his uh, pajamas and stuff. And I was like, you're just gonna, I'm gonna be in your room on this call. You just have to get yourself ready and then I'll quit out at 8.30 and we'll do your reading and go to sleep. He was so tired, but yeah. A lot of that meeting didn't need to be a meeting because she sent in advance a Word document with everything and she just kind of reread it to us. So we didn't really need that. So I didn't get to stay for too much of the planning, but basically they just give small treats. It's, it's like the elementary school's teacher snack day that they do once a month, except to the way they work it. And I actually told them about this because somebody brought up, why don't we have a sign-up sheet and have parents donate? these snacks and they decided there's no time before the next one because it's next Friday but they will look into it I was like yeah so the elementary school every month they have two grades sponsor a snack day and they'll have a big sign up sheet and you can you donate the snacks and it's quite the spread I actually got to see the spread because I was working in the office on one of the days and somebody dropped off bags of cheese sticks so I got to go back to the teachers lounge and add those to the supplies but yeah so they they'll have something small muffins granola bars if they can get it sponsored something like a smoothie for every staff i think there's like around 150 and they have a, a flyer designed that either gets printed out with some of the ones they have to drop in mailboxes or it gets placed on a table in a staff room and they just need people to plan it, buy it, make the sign, and people to set it up before school, so around eight, which would work, but I would have to bring Jax to school early or he would walk. <laughs> so I piped up right away. I'm not good at thinking of these ideas because I really don't want to be the one to have to go and like buy them, 
it stresses me out that I'll mess it up and I get anxious about going places but I'm like I'm a graphic designer I can do your signs and stuff no problem and I'm happy to go and help set up <laughs> so I think I'm definitely the sign person I didn't get to hear what they settled on for this coming Friday I was like you can tell me what it is or if you have a theme whatever you want to do or I can figure out the theme whatever they were leaning towards cookies from Costco I think it's like an $80 budget to cover like a little more than 150 staff so it's not a big budget but I guess this is just a little make you smile kind of situation and hopefully they'll still have like the teacher lunch and some stuff but I thought they would have done one and I didn't hear anything about that so I don't know but I'll get to know some of these people <clears throat> And maybe I'll do more. I don't know. I never do the meetings, the PTA meetings, because they are at bedtime as well. Not quite as late as this one. But yeah, I had to cut out. And then the very sleepy Sebastian did his reading. And then I edited it as much as I could, but I hadn't talked to you yet. And I just talked to you so long. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I I will not be offended if you watched this on high speed because I watch a lot of videos on high speed. I just don't have that many hours in my day. Anyway, let me know about what you think of the hair. That orange will go and it will just be the peachy pink. But I don't mind it for the transition. It's, it's lovely, I think. So I'm going to say goodnight. I've got to bring my computer back downstairs and plug it in. I need to bring his glasses down, bring my tea down, bring my water down and fill that for tonight. I've got to fold the clothes that are in the dryer and put Jax's gym clothes in the dryer so they can dry for tomorrow. I've got to mark off Sebastian's homework sheet and export this, upload this. Is there anything else I need to do? Then I think just get myself ready for bed. So I'm gonna go do that. Good night. Thank you for watching. Do you know that there's almost 500 subscribers? I don't know why. Who are you people? I love you, but I don't know you, and I don't know how you could possibly stand to watch me babble like I do. But thank you. I appreciate you. Here's half a heart. You can you can put the rest of the heart in there. Match it up. There you go. All right, good night. Stay safe. Be kind. And don't forget.